84-70, 14 points San Antonio, and whoa. now... Come to Jakar Sampson, whoa, calm down. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, calm down. Somehow he and... Was that Patty Mills? Uh, yeah, I thought it was Patty Mills. At the free throw line. And the San Antonio coach is quick to get out there. Kane Fitzgerald right in front of Patty Mills. In the center. Oh, they, they just... Patty Mills just came and got into him. And now Jakar got... And Rudy, Rudy's in this, but... Yeah, Rudy Gay. Here's another look, QB. Okay, right there, you can see Patty Mills is not backing off. And Jakar is not backing off. Pirtle tries to move it. And then you see Gay get it in the middle of it. I don't know if you call that instigator or not. Coro took a blow. That's his own rebound. He had a travel call. Oh, is Coro and Sampson getting mixed up? Coro didn't like that, and now they jaw at each other. Lamar Stevens, who has just checked in, got over there quickly, and now Jakar Sampson just got tossed. Yeah, he, he really just mouthing off. In that situation, did not call for any of that. He likes to go fishing during his breaks. Metu caught a big fish there and caught a ride on Valanciunas. I'm not sure any of that was malicious. I think Valanciunas felt that Metu was caught up on his shoulders. And just simply tried to discard him. Yeah, well, don't be mad that I put you in the hole. Yeah. Ride him, cowboy, says Metu. And and this is the little bit of nastiness that is the, the Grizzlies. And you remember... Here in attendance at the Barclays Center. They're hoping to increase that. I have to go by according to state government regulations in New York, which is 10% capacity. Irving call for the foul. And it's going to be his second. There's the fans here. Right now there are 21 teams that have fans. Minnesota's about to join them. And when the Lakers finish their road trip and go home, their first game back, they're going to have fans. Along with the Clippers is Irving and Schroeder going at it. Somebody's been hit with a technical. Could be a double technical. Zach Zarba, who's the crew chief, trying to calm Irving down. So it is a double technical. Well, they got into it, or Schroeder was upset with what he thought was the referee not calling fouls on Irving in one-on-one -on -one situation. And Kyrie Irving is thrown Just, out. Yeah. Irving thrown out. He continued his conversation. But was walking away. Schroeder's happy with it. Odd Haslam. You know, Haslam's having words with Dwight Howard. I'm loving this right now. Uh oh, oh here we go. Haslam pointing the finger may have made contact. He talked about his toughness before, Raji. There is a certain sense of urgency to this game for both teams. Although Miami has jumped in front with red hot shooting. This is great because these two teams potentially could see one another in the second round. See, first of all, he. Howard throws him to the ground here on this uh, as he, he got tangled up for a, a rebound. And now here's the words between Haslam and there's the point. May have been contact. Yeah. Yep. He's Tossed. gone. They, they ejected him. Up, no whistle. Wow. <laughs> they say play on, length of the court. And that's a foul. Oh, whoa, whoa, oh, whoa. That, now that should be a flag. Oh, look out. That was OG. And that is a wrestling move, taking down Schroeder. Schroeder was, Schroeder was holding him up, and I don't know what he was thinking. He actually almost ended up body slamming Schroeder. Yeah, the the officials will look at this. If they review this, uh, I'm very interested to see what the outcome will be. And restoring order as both benches spill on to the court. Here so he doesn't fall. 
Now he gets up and like, yeah. <laughs> that's just ridiculous. And look at Trez coming in. Trez is coming in there. Gary Trent was in the middle of it too. Yeah, but the third man in usually is the guy that gets penalized the most. So well, we'll see who they rule as the third man in. Is that going to be Trez? Or is it going to be Gary Trent? Here's player altercation. Personal foul on Soder. The play's under further review. All right, they're going to take a look at this, and there's a lot to unpack here with this replay and what just went down between Ananobi and Schroeder. And tennis hot, and there's Gary Trent. Looked at the time as always trying to break up, but then Trez came in, of course, to protect his guy. And look at Markeith. You know, he's going to come in and... Irving pokes it away. Good hands from Kyrie Irving. And then Beverly and Harden, former teammates in Houston, shove each other. That was a hard foul from Beverly that Harden took exception to. Hard foul? Absolutely. Oh, my goodness. Mike's got him soft. Got? <laughs> James Harden's on my side on that one. Oh, that's brutal. <laughs> Well, that's a flagrant five. It, it doesn't look as Did impactful in slow motion. <laughs> and then they pushed each other. There was no technicals? Well, during that timeout, Dwight Howard was ejected from this game. Those two going at it, Harrell and Dwight Howard. And that bump right there, official Kane Fitzgerald comes in and ejects Dwight Howard. And Ben Simmons also picking up a tee. So that just happened during the timeout. After that, we had a chance to visit with Doc Rivers, Reggie Miller, with the head coach of the second. To the rescue. Hi, Rudy, just making it look easy. Got run off the three-point line. Didn't matter to him. Right into his mid-range game. McCollum's miss. Cantor's rebound. Blocked by Gay. Cantor again, and he is fouled here. And a little upset with DeRozan there. DeRozan took a swipe at it. He caught more of Enos than he did the basketball. And Cantor obviously a little upset about that. It's hard to tell exactly what happened. Now obviously, guys are battling in the pain area. <laughs> a couple <Cantor>. extra shots. <laughs> DeMar told him to do something. Uh, the NBA is <laughs> NBA is not really a fighting league. I mean, no. Some nice run the other day. Coach Vogel said, I put him in the starting lineup because he had not played that many minutes and he deserved it. And this is going to be, oh, look out. Mark keep going after Boogie. Whoa. Something really incited Marquise Morris. And he's still going after him. He's not letting this go at all. But what he's going to let go is uh, some change. Always ha not always, but a lot of time it happens off the ball. Is you can see Markeef gets called, and then Boogie gives uh, Markeef a shoulder and a an forearm, and Markeef really d didn't appreciate it at all. So he retaliates, and we'll probably have them review this and see if they get both players with uh, technical fouls. Boban Marjanovic. Maybe the most well-liked player in the association. <laughs> Uh-oh. James Johnson and Cody Martin. Both Martins. Well, we gave you James Johnson's bona fides earlier. Stay away from that man. Hmm. Hmm. I didn't see what happened, but both Martin brothers 
very upset. That side of your screen. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's yeah, we, all James Johnson. Yeah, we didn't see what preceded that, but that was all James Johnson provoking Cody Martin. And if you go for one Martin, you get the other one. Shot right there. Being up 12 after one when you're only shooting about 40% from the floor, that underscores the rebounding. It underscores getting to the free throw line, doing other things. Now, why did Boogie just pit, uh, just push Cauley Stein? That's just a Kentucky <laughs> or Sacramento thing. Yeah, the Sacramento, <laughs> Kentucky. They, they pulled out a win with Cal Double Calipari uh, being tossed. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> About. I love when guys kind of go at it. Well, there's getting now with Chippy oh, yeah. in the game, and, and I'll, I'll be honest, the Clippers might need this. You see Paul George frustrated. There are not many players in league history that are better at getting under your skin, and I say this as a compliment than, than Chris Paul is. And this happens to involve Devin Booker. I, you know, it, here's my thing. I love the chippiness as long as you keep your mind set on when Payne having some words and now Booker getting involved. I don't know what Paul George is really upset about here. Uh, I really don't. I mean, he's hot as a firecracker. I mean, so. I mean, he's hot as a firecracker. I don't know what he expects. I mean, he, what you got to do as long as it doesn't turn in. He's lucky he didn't play in the 80s. They would have been in <laughs> top couple of braids off by now. But I mean, that's a good block there from Payne. And he just fell on him after he blocked the shot. So I'm just trying to figure out why Paul George is a little upset. And you can see Cameron Payne didn't say anything. Devin Booker took exception to the response from Paul George. <laughs> we know about the competitive juices of one Devin Booker. You know, there's always surprise. Special players who have the ability to do that, and Derrick Rose was that and has become that. Watch out. Thomas Bryant got fouled hard by Blake Griffin. Now he goes back at him, and Griffin is just smiling. And Bryant, not happy, but he's got to calm down. Emotional right now. Talk about the potential to make money. We don't want to lose money. The officials will get together. There's going to be... A technical foul. That was the first bump, and then Blake kind of threw him to the ground, and then Jonathan Sterling tried to get yeah. in the middle of it. Thomas Bryant wanted the action. What we're going to see yeah. potentially on Friday night: the Bucks have 43 three-point attempts in this game. Pistons direction. And the coaching staff is watching him. He went back at Stewart. Boy, that was a great call when you said we need to take him out. Yeah. Sean Sweeney, he went, she gotta go back there. Well, he went, went down there under the pretense of talking to Sean Sweeney, but yeah, he got, got right up in Stewart's face. He sure did. Off the underside of the rim, and he rushed that shot, so Dallas will have one last chance. Luca all the way to the cup. No whistle. Half is over. Yeah, you can feel that coming. Miami will have a free throw to shoot at the start of the quarter. He got there. Plenty of time left. Oh, got him wow. in the head, yeah. That's a, that's a big miss. And he will hit for the line. 3.9 offensive rebounds per game, third in the NBA. 
It just does so much. Gives your team confidence, not only extra possessions, but you feel like you're always in a position as you see the wrestling down there. Looks like the White should get a foul. Dwight says, we're not doing anything. And he gets right back to it. Yeah. Now the foul is called. Scott Foster. As uh, Howard and Allen continue to go at each other. Well, they're wrestling fans. They know that, you know, wrestling comes on usually after the second game of a, of a TNT doubleheader. They're just getting warmed up. But after the calendar flipped to 2020, they were among the league leaders in second half scoring and second half point advantage. And oh. Grayson Allen got shoved down and temper starting to flare. And guys, this is the last thing that you need for either team. Well, I'm trying to understand. I don't understand why Trey Young got so upset because he commits the foul. He, and then for whatever reason, then and continues then to just push shove. Grayson Allen. I, I didn't, and I now didn't. you understand why Grayson was so upset. Well, that's where that's where you talk about frustrations. They're both not having a good this is the second game back to back second game that he's not played well and, and some of that you start to see that start to boil over maybe somewhat there 